What's up guys? I'm at the beauty supply in this picture and I found this cute number, but it was a little bit too dark for me even though I tried to rock it a few times. So stay tuned and see what I did to lighten this beauty up a little. It's summertime, summertime, summertime. Again, again, again. Hey yo, it's summertime, summertime, summertime. Go tell your friends, we on the ends. Come in your bed list, right? Vela Vela collection, whole lace wig, 100% natural human hair. Fully hand tied. <laughs> and it came in this gorgeous, thick, well made box. And of course, I said I got it at the beauty supply. So when I when I, when I got the wig, it was, this was inside the wig, you know, keeping it, uh, its shape. And of course, with the net on it, uh, some instructions and they send you, they give you a, uh, a wig stand or a wig head that you have to put together. This is the wig stand that came with, and basically it's just, it comes in three pieces, this round part on top and, um, these two different pieces here and then you crisscross them and snap it together and this round piece here is holding it together and the wig sits on it nicely so yeah nice product I'll give you a link below so y'all can go get you one okay love so let's talk about this unit here as you can see it's great quality hair and I like the dark color that it was but I'm so used to having my hair blonde that I'm kind of you know stuck on that blonde color so you know I, I the dark 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 is a little too much for me but what I'm going to do with this one I don't want it completely blonde like I normally have my hair because you know why have all of my wigs the same color but you see the texture of this thing? It is beautiful. And um, so we're going to make a change to the color. But look at the lace on it I'm showing you right here. It's practically transparent. Um, it's really soft. And it's all the way around the unit. So that's a plus too because you can wear it in a ponytail if you wanted to. And this is just the structure of the inside that I'm showing you here. It has four combs, one in the back, two on the side, and one in the top. Not all the way in the front though, which, you know, is a little bit, it bothers me a little bit, but you really can't have a comb in the front of this because the lace is so fine and so beautiful that a comb there is just going to ruin it. So yeah, um, you have enough combs to feel secure with this one. So guys, we're going to go ahead and start the process. As you can see, I use Dark and Lovely. I also use Dark and Lovely Honey Blonde on my natural hair. But um, I'm trying to film this with one hand and do everything with one hand because I couldn't hook the tripod up. So... Basically, I was just squeezing a little bit of the product on a little bit of the color on my gloved hand and trying to put it in places where I thought I wanted it light. And then I went ahead in with the blow dryer and tried to give it some heat to try to speed up the lightening process. However, I saw that that wasn't really uh, working or bringing the color up to the point that I really wanted it. So I said, you know what? I need to apply a lot more than a little gloved handful. So I just squeezed a bunch of it on a plastic baggie and put it on my hand. Get it, and I just put it in, in random spots where I thought I needed to have it lighter. So as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit more red or more of like a cinnamon type color. And I've had it on there about 15 minutes so far. So I moved back to the bathroom where I have set up my other blow dryer because actually uh, the other one that I was using in the kitchen was, it just died. So uh, yeah, I moved to the bathroom and, and, and started using this one.
but so far I'm feeling the color it's a little bit well it's a lot lighter than it was when I bought it and so we'll see so now I'm preparing the water in the sink to wash the unit uh, but basically I'm not going to wash it, I'm going to co-wash it with conditioner and I'm using Saki Essence Conditioner which it smells divine. So I'm pouring it into lukewarm uh, sink full of water and I'm going to swish it around and dissolve the, the conditioner there and prepare. It feels good. It's like I tell you, it smells so good you guys. So yeah. Now that the conditioner is in the water, I am now going to take the unit and drop it right in that bad boy and soak it up and let it luxuriate in that beautiful smelling sake by OGX. <laughs> I love it so much anyways yeah so I'm making sure that I saturate the wig uh, totally because I want to get all of the color out and make sure that all of the wig has been washed so guys then I'm going in with step three and this came in the box of color uh, it is the conditioner the intense conditioner uh, from dark and lovely so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the wig and So far, this is how much shedding I've received from the wig. <laughs> so guys, you saw the minimal shedding, so I'm very pleased with that. But anyways, after I rinsed and brushed the wig, I'm going to go in with Frizz Buster and uh, Hawaiian Silky 14-in-1 Miracle Worker. Uh, and I use these on my natural hair, by the way. Uh, and also the Care Care uh, Leave-In Conditioner number two and to achieve the curl pattern that I normally like. So you guys, this is the color that I used first. Uh, Dark and Lovely Go Intense. Uh, and I, you know, I didn't want the whole wig to be this color, so I wanted to achieve highlights, and basically that's what I did. And it gave me like a cinnamon color uh, from the number four it became a cinnamon color but I wasn't actually loving it I liked it but I wasn't loving it so I went back and I got this color and I did the same procedure that I showed you before but I this time I used dark and lovely uh, number 384 golden blonde light golden blonde I'm sorry uh, and then I mixed it with in the little applicator bottle and actually you're supposed to open the applicator bottle first <clears throat> and then this is the high lip booster so I think this is what I probably needed to do it with the first time to get the color that I wanted and so you pour this packet and you have to be really careful with the packet when you open it because it's uh, very toxic and uh, you want to make sure that you're in a uh, well, um, you know, ventilated room. And you, you cut it. You can see where I cut it here. And then I poured it into this packet and I shook it for like 10 seconds. And then after it was mixed, then I went in with this, the uh, Fade Resistant Rich Conditioning Hair Lightener. And I did the same thing. I poured it into this container and I shook it. And excuse me for sniffing, but I did end up getting a cold this week. And so sorry about that. But I didn't want to do a voiceover on this one. So yeah, so I put it in this container and I shook it for like 10 more seconds. And then what I did was I emptied it all into this bowl here and I stirred it up. And I did the same procedure with the gloves that you saw in the video already with the previous color. And so I'm gonna show you guys what, how it turns out with this. So basically, I did the same procedure with this color, uh, hoping to get a lighter, um, 
effect on the wig okay so and you know washed and blow dried and all that stuff and so what you're gonna see now is um, the results of actually two colors that one was first and it brought it to like a cinnamony color and then this one a couple like two weeks later which is yeah it's it looks like a beautiful brown and it's really pretty look and I also even tried to do got to be glued and yeah, for the first time I guess I did a pretty good job I don't know but this wig is actually a full lace wig and so you could do got to be glued or whatever um, procedure you use to lay down your wigs uh, you could do it all the way around on this unit because it's a full lace wig and, and yeah I love it and today it was uh, I wore it for the first time with this way and everybody was like oh my god I love it you got a new wig and I was like nah fix the old one <laughs> if you guys like this video please like subscribe Share. You got yeah. the sauce, nigga. Ay, what? Ay, yo. Checking my status. What? Yeah. Don't fuck me no average, bitch. Yeah. I'm living lavish. What? Designer on me like a fashion. I, 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 I be on active. Never catch you on no action. Never.